this is Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three string cigar box guitar. Got my uh, Soldano uh, combo amp. Um, I'm also with this lesson using a uh, Earthquaker Night Wire. It is a harmonic tremolo and it sounds like this. You can hear the pulse. Um, tremolos can go fast and slow. like a helicopter sound a boom 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 so this is uh, Credence this is uh, Born on the Bayou um, just to let you know uh, John Fogarty always used um, Fender amps and um, Fender twins have a tremolo function in them already so that's why he sounds with tremolo a lot so uh, just letting you know, if you buy one of those big Fender uh, tube amps, you're going to find that it has a tremolo circuit built into the amp. Um, this amp does not, so I have this uh, Nightwire here, Earthquaker pedal Nightwire. So this is Born on the Bayou, and I'll, I'm going to play a little bit of it. I've kind of adapted it to the um, three string, um, and the song is in E. And uh, I'm going to play it in E, and uh, but I would do it live in D, and I will show you how to do that, toggle back and forth between the uh, things. So I've talked enough, I'm sorry. So uh, here's Born in the Bayou. <laughs> terrible vocals. Um, I'm really not very good at singing at these way high upper registers. I'm more down here. So the song has a picking pattern and it also does a hinge move and I've talked about hinge moves before where say you're in E, this pinky on this B note is gonna go to here and back and forth. Okay. That's the secret to this song. That's the key. All classic rock songs have a key. Once you get the key, you unlock the door, you unlock the song. Um, so that's, that's how I have interpreted this song. So it's in E. So G, G sharp, A, important chord in this song. B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, important chord in this song, D sharp and E. Um, I am going to do a couple of moves here. One, this is an E chord. But what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to play these two notes here and I'm going to drop that E down to D. And what that's going to do is, is create a chord called an E7 sounds like that. Uh, if I turn off the tremolo, that's what it sounds like. So uh, remember, tremolo, like delay, like everything else, uh, is like salt and pepper, um, too much and you ruin the meal, just the right amount, you get the effect you're looking for. So I'm going to turn off the tremolo because we don't need it um, for this explanation. So I want you to put your third finger on that E string and, and look at your dots. You got one, two, three, four. Put it on that dot right there. Put your pinky on that B, on the D string right there. And hit those two notes. Perfect. Now put your first finger here on your D. And you're gonna hit three notes.
notes in succession. E, B, and D. Okay, so that's the start of this song. The other chords in this song, okay, we'll get to the trick in a minute, are D and A. You put your finger here. By doing these combinations this way, you don't have to jump up and down the neck. So here you are in E7. Move your finger up, D. Put your first finger down to the A, E, and E. And then you're ready for this shape again. So I'm going to go this, through this very slowly again. So your third finger here is on E, your pinky is on the B, your first finger is on the D. Then you're going to take your first finger all the way across. You're going to, one, two, three, that's a D. Play the D. Then your first finger comes down to this note, which is an A. Third finger on the E, pinky here, okay? on the E, and that's your A. So you're gonna be doing this. So, the picking pattern of this. So I tend to change my pattern a little bit. So I'm coming down, down, down. And you're going to be hitting this string twice because you're going to hinge on this note. So you're going to play one, two, three. And you're going to come up on the D you're going to hinge off of the E string here. So this is what it would look like if you're just going. Because you can see what I'm doing here. trick. So now we get our tremolo back. Well, I'm going to turn the level up a little bit more. Level means more of the effect coming through to the amp. And that's the, the secret here. So this is something you're just going to have to play with and work on. And you know, sometimes I mess up the phrasing a little bit. No one at the bar is going to care. Um, I, you know, I'm a bar playing guy. Um, just to let you know, I play a lot at bars. The people in the bar are more busy with their phones than they are listening to you 99% of the time. So work through these things when you play them and just throw them out there. It's going to be cool. Don't worry. And if you don't do the little trick and all you do is... <laughs> You're going to be fine, okay? Don't worry about a thing. You don't have to get this pinky trick yet. Okay, so I talked about changing key because I cannot sing Credence in that key. I mean, I just don't have Fogarty's voice. Who does, really? So I'm going to shift my hand down to D. 
okay? Now I am in D. The same things apply. Don't worry about what the chords are. <laughs> Okay? That's the beauty of this system, is that if I don't like it in E, I move it to D. If I don't like it in D, I move it to C. <laughs> I can play it in F. So that's, you know, those are the things I can do. Um, I like this type of a system where I can just move around shapes and, and change. Um, my bass player sometimes gets grief for it because he doesn't know what key I'm toggling back and forth from. <laughs> But the song is in E, and it'll sound the best in E, and if you can sing it, God bless you. I just can't, so I'm going to have to switch keys around to play this. And that's the beauty of this system. Your hand stays here, it's in E. Your hand goes here, it's in D. Your hand goes here, it's in C. Your hand goes there, it's in B. Your hand goes here, it's in F. Um, so that's how I think. Um, this is Uncle Mark. I am in the mothership. Um, I am uh, hanging out and having a good time here. I do have a uh, donation link, a uh, PayPal um, dot me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips down below in the show notes. Um, it's basically basically a virtual tip jar. Um, I do this for tips. I have some big plans coming up, um, lots and lots of business plans for this specific thing, um, and uh, so by doing that, you help fund it. Um, also, thanks for all the sharing on social media and all the things you do for me um, on Facebook and uh, all these other uh, social media sites. And uh, thank you for everything you've done. And I really, really appreciate it. So uh, talk soon and I'll let you know what the big plans are. Eventually, they'll get rolling. Um, I'm just, uh, just doing some things. So we'll talk soon. Bye.